What is up, you guys? Welcome to my fall nighttime routine. I'm going to be sharing exactly what it is that I do to set myself up to wake up super early in the morning. I wake up at about 4.35 a.m. and you guys have asked to see the process in that. So usually my evening kind of winds down at about 5 p.m. That's really when the entire routine kind of starts. I leave my office pick up any parcels around the house, spend some time with Carl, and just kind of clean up and tidy everything up. One thing that I love to do throughout the fall months, it is the perfect temperature for this, is put on a bathing suit at the end of the night and go outside, spend some time as the sun sets, just enjoying the weather, enjoying the outdoors, and getting into the hot tub. My favorite thing to do is bring my book outside with me and read in the hot tub because it is so relaxing. I actually try not to bring my phone with me at all. And I just put on a little festive bathrobe, poured myself a glass of water and made my way outside, but not before I convinced my husband to come with me. So Andre was just finishing his workout and I figured it would be the perfect post-workout for him also. So being able to spend some time together, kind of debrief at the end of our day is super important to us. And doing that in the hot tub is super amazing. We don't do it every single day. Obviously, sometimes it'll just be over cocktails or we'll go to dinner. But being able to take that time after work, since we both do work at home, to debrief and go through everything that we've been through over the day in terms of work is just super important. Carl usually likes to be a part of it all. He was relentless and really wanted to come to the hot tub but didn't want to be in it and from there Andre just went inside showered and went on with his evening while I just stayed outside and I did really want to read my book so I'm loving my book so by this point it was about a little bit after five I picked everything up outside put the hot tub back on turned on the exterior lights and made my way back inside So by this time, the sun was just setting, Carl was having a little nap upstairs, and I went upstairs and got changed into some yoga clothes. So anything that you ever see me wearing that is workout related will always be Buff Bunny. I absolutely love it. I do have a discount code with them. It's just Angie B. I love all their stuff. Their bras support me. Their shorts are the best shorts ever. And it's just the only thing that I wear. So I love it. And one thing that I've been trying to incorporate into my evening routine, even if I don't get the hot tub in, is to end my day with a yoga session. So this kind of kicks off the evening for me and really just brings everything down, chills me out, and is the best way to go into the evening, especially if I plan on waking up early the next day. So just a quick yoga session a little bit of meditation, a little bit of light breathing. It doesn't have to be super long. And then by this point, I have to head back upstairs because I actually do have to plug back into my computer at around 6 p.m. because I go live every single day on my Daily Grind YouTube channel. So I have a secondary channel, which is also our podcast channel. And we have a live chat going. It's super fun. And I'm on live with everybody. So I do that every single night at 6 p.m. And then I shut down. So I put on a sweater and Andre and I decided to head outside for an evening walk since it's one of the last nice days of the season. It was still a little bit warm out. So we just kind of did a walk around the block. It was a super nice night out. We made our way back home. And from there, I set up the house for my daily evening routine. So every single night, especially throughout the month of October, I will turn on all of the candles, all of the fairy lights. I will usually light the fire and get set up for our evening. One thing that I always do throughout October is listen to Hollow Wishes pretty much every single night. So after yoga, I will go upstairs, sometimes make a mocktail or a cocktail. I was feeling very festive, so we made a margarita tonight. And you guys always ask to know the recipe, so I decided to really draw this out and show you the exact recipe of my smoky, spicy margarita. So I love using mezcal. I will rim that glass with oak smoked sea salt. Then I do a little bit of ancho chili reyes liqueur, some poblano liqueur. I do some lime juice, as well as a little touch of margarita mix, some jalapeno juice. If a couple jalapenos fall in, it's all good. And then I topped the entire thing off with bubbly. (music) 
Now, because this is a nighttime routine, I decided to make it extra festive and we're going to smoke the margarita as well. So if you've never had a smoked cocktail, you need to. I actually learned this from Disney. They do this in Disney. It's the best way to have a cocktail. So, I mean, that's what I do while I listen to Hollow Wishes and it is the best way to kick off my evening. So from there, I set up at the coffee table with the fireplace on and I decided to do my nails. This is like such a therapeutic thing that I love to do at home and I'll switch out my nails every two to three weeks and I just do them myself at home. In that time, Carl is having the time of his life on the couch, burying things. I don't even know what, but he was just having a blast. So I decided to pop on a movie. This is one of my favorite movies ever. I don't know if you're able to tell what it is just from that little clip alone. If so, definitely comment down below. I love you guys' movie knowledge. It's so impressive. So while I slept on my margarita, I did my nails. I love these nails. They're just really pointy, but nonetheless amazing. So there's like a little spider web on one of them. The rest of them are like matte black and then there's one red one. Okay, so if you guessed it, it's called Death Becomes Her and it is an amazing movie. I love it. It's up there with Witches of Eastwick for me, like such a vibey Halloween movie. I love it. And then I decided to make dinner for Andre and I. I wanted to bring you along on our dinner quest that I made. I wanted to make this thing of like marrying two of my favorite meals, pizza and pasta. So I did a pizza crust at the bottom of this lasagna dish, let that bake, it didn't take long at all. Put some, some not spaghetti sauce, some pizza sauce down, then some salami. Carl was a part of it all. And then the other night I actually made this pasta. So that's what's under here. So this pasta was a leftover, but I wanted to show you how I made it. So I've made this before where I cook some ground beef with some onions, and then in the oven, I will put some tomatoes, some basil, some feta, and then I'll bake that while the meat is cooking. Once it's done, you kind of just mix that whole mixture together and that becomes your sauce. You add the meat and the noodles and that becomes the pasta. So that's what's under there and it's so good. Topped that with pepperoni, some mozzarella, so it's really like a pizza and a pasta at the same time. It was amazing. Andre loved it, especially with the crust. I've never done this with the pizza crust. It was incredible. And I eagerly awaited its uh, finale because I was impatient, but it was so worth the wait. So I popped that out of the oven and then I just cut a little square, kind of like any casserole, just a little square out of there and then popped that into a pasta bowl and then I made a salad on the side. And this is such a delicious, cozy fall meal. I love it. We had a little glass of wine and we continued our Harry Potter journey. So Andre has never watched Harry Potter before and we are now proudly onto the fourth Harry Potter. I'm so excited that he loves it so much. And yes, I am now thinking that we might have to go to Universal Studios. The Disney lovers are gonna make their way to Universal. And I just wanna say that Andre had two bowls of that pasta, that's how much he loved it. So we were enjoying the movie so much that once we were done, we actually just stayed on the couch with Carl and continued watching the movie. We didn't finish the whole thing in one sitting, but we did watch quite a bit of it and we'll continue it the next night. So then from there, I usually go upstairs. I'll sometimes finish up some work and I'll go upstairs and have a bath. So this was the coolest bubble bath and so perfect for the October months. This glow in the dark bath with my projector. So this is a galaxy projector that I turn on any month really. And my bath situation and setup is just a full vibe. So I continued reading my book. That's something that I try and do to set myself up for the morning coming. I will not go on my phone. I will not be on electronics headed into bedtime. I'll just read a book. So then from there, I will wash off my face, take off my eyelashes, and just make sure that all of the makeup is off. And yes, I'm fully checking out my husband, I realize that. Then I brush my teeth, give Carl his little glass of water, I'll put on my PJs, and I will get my workout gear out for the next morning. So this is one of the biggest tips I can give you is set yourself up for success for the next morning if you're trying to wake up early. Then I will leave my phone across the bedroom, and I will set that alarm for about 4.50, 
and then I'll do my skincare routine, which is just, you know, some cream, a little eye cream, and then I make my way over to the bar cart that I have where I keep my hair serum, and then I usually put that on the ends of my hair, and then I tie it up in a top knot. And then the whole time, Carl's such a gentleman, he always waits for me, and then I usually hop into bed, and Andre and I both read a book. And that's really the nighttime routine as to how I wake up super early. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.